This is an air turbine that I made last year for my air turbine drill. It has a pair of CNC machined end caps. The main body was made by me from a 42 mm copper pipe and I soldered uh, some brass piping from the for the inlet and the outlet. This is a, a brass coupler that connects the turbine wheel shaft to this 3 mm shaft which then connects to the spindle which came from a rotary tool. After all this is what we are trying to do now, a rotary tool. It was also grinded to fit the this square hole inside here to spin the spindle. Here you can see spinning. This is the spindle. The spindle came from a, a flex shaft from a rotary tool. A flex shaft is something like this. This is from my Dremel. And inside here is the spindle which is suspended on a dual ball bearings just like this one here except that the ball bearings were fitted by me using some uh, copper pipes the main body consists of a part from a tube that uh, was uh, from a vacuum cleaner this is plexiglass uh, which is painted the holes match exactly the holes of the air turbine and this is where all bits go and fit by using this thing here which is called collet which is basically a chuck we can secure any bit we want For instance, this cutting bit can be put here and by securing the shaft like this we can screw it with a key. And there we go. Now it's ready for cutting.
This is probably not the most powerful rotary tool that you have ever seen, but at least I have a lot of fun making it and I learned a lot of things. I hope that you can like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Bye.